In this video, we will learn about drawing up the medication safely from a glass ampule. Glass ampules can be challenging because you want to make sure you are getting the medication out without cutting yourself and without getting the glass in the syringe. That's why you need to be extra cautious and careful while drawing the medication from glass ampule. Let's begin this procedure. Medication administration is to calculate the required volume of medication that you need to administer to your client. So we have to do our dosage calculation first. So let's just say in this case, we are giving three milliliters. So grab your three ml syringe and this time, instead of blunt tip needle, attach a filtered needle. Filtered needle will prevent getting the glass into the syringe and into the patient. Now you want to hold your ampule in the non-dominant hand and make sure that you get all the bubbles out of the top of the ampule. You can flick it or you can gently tap on an ampule to make sure that you're taking all the air bubbles out from the top of the ampule. And then you will see a little dot. If you see a little dot, you want to plan to put your thumb so that you're going to wrap a gauze piece or you can also use alcohol swab to wrap it around the top of the ampule. Now put your dominant thumb over the dot and line up your non-dominant thumb with it on the base. And then using your thumbs, you want to break the ampule. Make sure you are breaking it away from your body because this is where lots of people make mistake and cut themselves. Some of the hospitals also use disposable plastic glass ampule breakers. So if that's available, you can obviously use that for this step. Once you have snapped the top of the ampule, you want to carefully take the glass part that has come off and set it aside or directly into the sharps container. Now you can grab your syringe with your filtered needle and you're going to insert it into the ampule and withdraw the correct amount of liquid from the ampule. You may need to slightly tilt the ampule to get the liquid if your needle is not long enough. So make sure your needle is touching the bottom so that you can draw the complete medication. Now you have withdrawn the amount which you need to administer to your patient, you can safely recap your needle with the scoop technique. And then you will want to remove the needle and dispose of it in Sharps container. As always, if you're not administering this drug right away, you must label the syringe with the drug name, dosage, date and time, and your initials. Always ensure that you are exercising 10 rights of patient medication administration which have been already discussed in our previous video. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you learned and ready for the next lessons. Hello nurses and nursing students. I hope you guys enjoyed learning, drawing the medication up from the ampule. What's next? Next is to practice NCLEX style questions related to the skill. So here is the first question on your screen. The question is, the nurse needs to draw up frusamide, which is Lasix, from a glass ampule as pictured. Which type of needle should be used? Here are the four options. Pause your screen and think for yourself which one is the correct answer. Option number one, 3.75 centimeters, 1.5 inches, 25 gauge needle. Is this correct? No, that's incorrect because this would be the type of needle used for injections, subcutaneous injections, IM injections. Option number B, 2.5 centimeters, one inch, 18 gauge blunt filled needle without filter. What do you guys think? No guys, that's incorrect. Although it's a large gauge blunt filled needle, but you guys know from the glass ampule, we need the filtered needles. So B is incorrect. Let's just review option number C, 1.6 centimeters, five eighth of an inch, 25 gauge needle. That is incorrect. This is the type, again, you guys know, we use in administering injections, which is like subcutaneous injection. Let's just review the last option, which is D. 2.5 centimeters, one inch, 18 gauge, blunt filled needle with filter. Yes, that's 100% correct because a blunt filled needle with filter needs to be used for drawing up the medication from the glass ampules to prevent the glass shreds in the medication. I hope you guys enjoyed learning this question. Now let's just move on to the next question and get the ball rolling. Here is the next question on your screen. The nurse is preparing an intravenous medication that is supplied in glass ampule. Which action will the nurse perform when preparing the intravenous medication? 
here are your four options. Again, pause and think for yourself which one is the right answer. All right, option number A, break the ampule towards the nurse's body. Hello, hello, is this something which you learned in the video? No, you guys know that's incorrect because the ampule should be broken away from the body, not towards the body. Let's just review option number B. Utilize a sterile alcohol pad on the neck of the ampule to break the ampule open. That is incorrect. A sterile alcohol swab should be used to clean the neck of the ampule. Then a sterile gauze pad should be used if you want to break open using that method. Again, you have learned that in the video. Let's just review option number C. Insert a filtered needle into the ampule to draw the medication. And yes, that's absolutely correct because the filtered needle will filter out any broken glass particles or fragments from the medication prior to being injected to the patient. Option number D, attach a filtered needle to syringe to inject medication. That is incorrect. This is not necessary because the medication should have already been filtered when removing it from the ampule. And the filter needle used to withdraw the medication from the ampule should not be used to inject the medication into an IV bag. Always use a new non-filtered needle if you want to use that. I hope you guys enjoyed learning this. And now let's just move on to the last question associated with this topic. All right, guys, here is the last question. The nurse is preparing medication from an ampule. Which of the following steps should the nurse take first? Always pay attention to these words in your NCLEX exam. What will the nurse do first? Nurse has already done this. What the nurse is going to do next, okay? So here are the four options. Pause the video and see for yourself which one is the correct answer. And then I will discuss with you guys. All right, guys, let's just review the option number one. Break the ampule away from nurse's body. You guys going to say, what? Taryn, you just thought that this is correct. However, guys, this is incorrect in this question because this is not the first step the nurse should do. Okay? I know sometimes, hey, that's why NCLEX is challenging. Option is right, but it does not implement in this question. Let's just review option number two. Attach a sterile needle to the syringe, which is incorrect. Again, why? Because this is not the first step the nurse should take. Option number three, check the expiry date of the medication. Yes, that's the correct one because this is the first action the nurse should take. This ensures that the medication is safe to use and not expired. Let's just do option number D. I know you guys already know this is incorrect, but still good to review. Inject air into the ampule. So you guys see, I'm already giggling. Probably you guys are too, right? This is incorrect. This is not the first step, guys, which you should do when you are doing this, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed learning clinical skill as well as NCLEX style question practice. That's what we do at FPNPC. We are always here to support the students and make sure you contact us if you have more queries. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you very much.